Hi everyone, it's Steffi and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of the Corona Chronicles. So in this week, there was some mind-blowing things that I discovered. So those will be in the video. Um, also, I'm going to show you in the first clip um, something that actually happened today. I said the date was the 9th. It is actually the 8th. So when you see that, mind you, it was very early in the morning. So it has been kind of a crazy week. We didn't get a lot of homework done this week. Um, and I've discovered that I'm doing my whole makeup routine wrong. So I'm going to be trying out a different makeup technique and seeing if I like that better. Um, which I'm excited to try. Um, and yes, my sweater is very dirty, full of makeup. But that's that. So... Um, I don't know. Let's just get into it, I guess. You guys, so I have to be quiet because it's like 6 in the morning, but it snowed this morning. It is Friday, May 9th. There's only a little bit of snow, but still. Hello, everyone. So it is Sunday night. <clears throat> um, I just uploaded my video for the week um it was a little bit late because i didn't have time this week to upload it so it's like almost 10 o'clock i have a half hour till my yogurt is done usually i start um boiling my milk and things like that for it at like seven um because it takes eight hours to ferment so it takes a while but i didn't get around to it today until like two o'clock so also I don't know if you can see but my eyelids are stained from the eyeshadow I was using today um, which is normal with most palettes so I might have to use some concealer tomorrow to kind of cover that up also on my beauty channel I'm going to be reviewing tomorrow the butter bronzer by physicians formula It has this annoying sticker on here from CVS that I couldn't get off but I was able to get the security tag off um, <clears throat> it was one of those like magnetic stickers but yeah my bronzer I finally hit pan on it so I need a new bronzer and hopefully this one works out because it was expensive but I just have some time to kill tonight so I figured I would get on here just, you know, vlog a little bit, clean the house today. Um, Carter's new obsession has been marshmallows, and I have been finding them behind the couch stuck to the floor, so that has been a challenge to clean up. Maddox still isn't home. He's with his dad. Um, he actually had sent me something when I was out running errands, and I didn't get it until I was back here, so I was like, well, just drop them off tomorrow on your way to work or whatever, so... He's going to do that tomorrow, um, but it was a very, very quiet evening in our house. Um, very, very quiet, nothing really going on. I still have this lovely pimple that just, you can't see it when I have makeup on because it's, it's not very like raised, just like this one, but they do bother me. But what can you do? That's life. So that's pretty much it for tonight. I'm just going to read my Kindle until the foodie beeps and then I can go to bed and I get up early tomorrow and get back to work and all that fun stuff so that's it for me how many times is this gonna happen to me in one week okay so just recorded like a 10 minute long rant and uh, the video got, the audio got corrupted. So here we are. I need a camera. We know this. I just, I already talked about this. You guys know. Okay. I am shook. I, I am like, I am shook. So today I was scrolling through Facebook and usually I see a lot of things on Facebook and I'm like, that's not real. I don't believe that. It's not real. Quick disclaimer, this is a new bronzer. I am figuring it out. I know it looks like shit. You don't have to clock me, okay? But it's already on my face, so what it, we're just going to move on, all right? So today I'm scrolling on Facebook, and I discover there's such a thing called a murder hornet. 
murder hornet. And these are confirmed now in the U.S. They come from Asia. Okay. This is not like your usual honeybee. Okay. These things are like this big. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm, I had to Google it and look it up because I didn't know that a hornet could get this big. So I did a quick little Google. I'll show you the picture that I got. And if you don't believe me, you can look it up for yourself and do your own research. So this is compared to the size of an adult man's hand. And you can even see in the picture the sting. The stingers are so big that they can pierce through a bee suit, like um, a beekeeper suit. Um, they can fly up to 20 miles an hour. And what they do is they have like little incisors like this, like most bugs do for their mouth. And what they will do is they will actually attack honeybees. So they will go to a honeybee, chop off its head, roll up its body into a little ball, and then they will feed that to their young. Not only do they do that, but when they're, they're bored of feeding their young, they attack other colonies of murder hornets. And if they happen to end up in the city anywhere, they will attack you too. Um, so I can't outrun something that runs 20, 20 miles an hour because I think I can only run like five if I really try. So that's pretty fucking terrifying um and the venom from these stings from the murder hornets can like corrode your skin like a dime sized amount per sting uh, so uh, the video that i watched showed a woman and her whole arm was just completely corroded from this so like it has the potential for a venom like a snake so that is really scary. I mean, I can step on a snake or throw a snake or like run away from a snake. I can't run away from one of these hornets. So these have been confirmed in the U.S. now. I mean, we thought Miss Rona was bad. Bitch, we're just getting started. You better buckle up. Better buckle the fuck up because there's more coming. That's not the end either. But I want to see what Trump has to say about the murder hornets. And how he's going to handle this. Because I know how this is going to go. Okay? Because when, when we started with coronavirus, he was, oh, it's not a big deal. Got this shit handled. Right? And now we're in the middle of a pandemic. Like, what's going to happen with this shit? Because this this is... I am terrified of bees. And bees this size, like, bitch, I will cry. I will fucking cry. If I get bit by one of these fucking things, I might die. I will fucking bawl like a little baby. This is not funny. This is, this, you guys are seeing the whole freak out meltdown moment right now because this has me shook. But we gotta move on from that. Okay, so, was about six days ago, the government released footage of UFOs. See, now you get to see what I deal with all day long. Okay, so they released footage of UFOs, and it wasn't one pic one video. It wasn't two videos. It was three. Three videos of UFOs. And one of the UFOs, while well, you watch it, it rotates like this. Like completely in a circle, just whoo, while it's flying. Okay, now we know that there are plenty of planes out there like fighter jets and other types of planes they use for air shows that can rotate and flip and twist and whatever. But this thing did not look like an airplane. It looked like a ball like this with two plates on the side. Like, this is some R2-D2 shit. Like, what the fuck is that thing? And so, here's my thing. Trump came out with this Space Force like a while ago, right? And everybody was like, what the fuck is this for? We don't need this. I think they released this Space Force, which I have no idea if it's real or not, um, because they were going to start releasing UFO footage. And what better time than when everybody's already in a panic about a pandemic? So, when Trump gets asked, what about these UFOs and blah, 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 he's going to be like, oh, our Air Force is ready for them. 
we have our space task force and we will shoot them down and we will win against the aliens in all the galaxy that's what it's gonna be i mean i'm not a, like trump hater i'm kind of like neutral right now i try to not get too political but i'm just letting you guys right know right now that's how it's gonna go so some a question will be asked and that's how it will probably be answered um so if you don't believe me about this footage you can go watch it yourself i will show you on my phone but the video on my phone was only like this part of my screen so you wouldn't even be able to see it because it was like maybe do i have a pencil in here the ufo was maybe like this big on my screen so you're not going to be able to see it right here so do a google looked it up it said it um there's three ufo sightings released from the pentagon that was six days ago so we're the fourth so that would be what let's double check so one two three four five six so april 28th or 27th was when these video this footage was supposedly released so check that out and let me know what you think but so far we've got coronavirus we've got these fires that happen in australia we've got the locusts that are in africa uh now we have murder hornets and the aliens are coming to kill us so all of that being said i i don't know what the fuck is happening like the bible says the rapture is coming and you know what i'm starting to believe it because the skin nuts um, I try to not get too religious or political, but when shit is black and white, you cannot tell me that there's not some truth to that. I mean, all these things just keep lining up and it's pretty strange, isn't it? Like, I just, I, I find it very, I can't look at myself in this screen anymore because this bronzer is horrible. I'm just... Hello? I think I better go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go. Hi everyone, so it is Wednesday. Um, I just recorded a video for my beauty channel and this is one that I can't just redo. My audio got corrupted. Oh, I just need a camera. Okay, so I did a makeup wipe review. I reviewed these, which are the, the Equate um, makeup wipes. I can't, I'm not going to put my full face on just to take it back off. I'm so upset. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Um, yeah, so you guys saw in my video the other day, the kids running around, being all crazy. I'm going to take my sweater off. I'm getting hot. Hold on. Okay, so you guys saw the kids running around, being all crazy. Um, that's been pretty standard since quarantine has started. So uh, that's the main reason why I don't really record with them up. Because it's really hard for me to actually get a video out. Because of how ridiculous like things get around here and I'm doing my best to parent and I actually talked to Carter's dad because he's out now um if you didn't know his dad had been locked away for a while but he is out now so we're working on co-parenting through the phone because he doesn't live here in town and um it's it's helping but I think Carter needs to just go back to his programming because they were doing the virtual visits with him, but it's really not working out. So I have to get that approved through his case manager that works with his waiver. I can't just say, yes, let's send him because they are the ones who approve the funding for um, Carter going to this program. So that's that. And then in today I got this little guide in the mail and then these little handouts about books and then i got this book this book this book this book and this book so i got all these books in the mail this is from the green bay school district 
Um, I don't know if it's for both the kids, if they only send it out for one family or if they're sending it out per student, but it's just some reading materials. So I'm going to try to work on using that with the boys, but tomorrow Andy's coming over for our um, homeowner online class, so we probably won't get that done tomorrow. And Friday we don't do homework, so it might not be until this next week that we actually work on these books because... I don't know about you, but my whole week has just been flying by, and I don't know why. It just has been. Also, for whatever reason, all the plastic cups around here are starting to break, so I need to buy some more plastic cups. I know that's really random, but I'm just letting you know. I'm still mad that my audio got corrupted because now I have to shoot this video again tomorrow night, and I just... I don't want to do it. Also tomorrow I have to rake my yard because the person who does our yard work came and mowed the front lawn, just wanted to make sure the lawnmower worked. And I went out and I talked to him and I was like, Hey, you know, if you're going to do the backyard, let me know a day ahead of time because I need to rake the yard because there's rocks and the boys have toys in the yard and things like that. So tomorrow, not only do I have to do my homeowner class with Andy, Aside from the kids' homework and getting them showered and everything, I also, and reshooting my video, I have to rake my whole yard. <sighs> you guys, why? Also, I need something to watch on YouTube. I still have episodes of Empire on Hulu that I haven't watched, and I'm, like, saving those. I should just watch them because I should just watch them, but... Um, right now I'm looking for things to watch. So that's pretty much it. It's just this week has just been flying by and I've been actually before I forget. Okay. So yesterday was Cinco de Mayo. Well, we, and I'm going to tell you the story because I didn't film any of it because I was in the car. Um, we decided we were going to get Taco Bell. So I was like, cool, you know, I'll punch out for my lunch break. We'll go pick up Taco Bell. We'll be back in like 20 minutes. Well, we get to Taco Bell, and mind you, it's Cinco de Mayo. I didn't know they had this new thing. Well, you might not know about it either, but I'll tell you right now. So they have this special where you can get all the ingredients to make your own tacos. They give you the shredded lettuce, the, the beef, the cheese, the sour cream, all that stuff, the shells. Um, and you can order that through their drive through and make the stuff yourself. So everybody wanted to go to Taco Bell apparently because the line was like all the way out through the driveway. And um, I was like, okay, well, you know, hopefully the line will move fast. And I was in the drive through for about 20 minutes waiting to even order. And then when I ordered, the person who was taking our order I had to say everything really slow. I was like, I need two cheesy roll-ups. And then I have to stop. I need a medium Baja Blast. And then I have to stop. I need a Crunchwrap Supreme. I mean, I, I when you order something from Burger King or McDonald's, I can be like, I need a number one, no pickles with a Coke. I need two kids meals. One's going to be with chicken nuggets and barbecue sauce and a Coke. And one's going to be a cheeseburger with, you know, a Coke. And I need some two orders of cheese sticks. And boom, 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 they've got it. Like, or McDonald's or whatever. I need a Big Mac. I need this. I need that. They they got it. I mean, that's your job in the drive through Like, don't put somebody in the drive through to take the order on Cinco de Mayo that doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. I mean, common sense would tell you to be staffed enough to handle this. If you are a restaurant that sells Mexican-only food, which isn't even real Mexican food, it's Taco Bell, but everybody seems to think that it's... The only reason why I went there instead of picking up El Serape is because I'm on a time crunch here for my lunch, okay? And I don't have, I'm not going to pay $50 for authentic Mexican food that I have to hurry up and quick eat and can't even enjoy on my lunch break, okay? Now, if me and Andy were doing like 
a date night in because it's quarantine and you know whatever then then maybe i would but um for on my lunch break i'm not going to do that so for cinco de mayo we had taco bell so we order our food the bag comes okay so i'm ordering for myself and the two kids i get this bag about this big um so i didn't want to hold up the line but i needed to check what i had so if you go to the taco bell that we go to um off of is is it it's where maine and mason they like go like this and then i think it's i think it's still main street when you go through that light like mason street goes up a hill and main street goes this way and you go past pdq um i think it's still main street anyway so we're on the taco bell on main street after you order the driveway has like a wrap around and it goes back to the same spot you pulled in there's not two separate driveways so there was plenty of time between me and the car behind me in case they were trying to pull out so i pulled all the way to the end i checked the bag there's some nachos in there and there's two tacos with lettuce and the boys don't eat them with lettuce that's not how i ordered them so I pull around and I, I get back in line. Now I'm all the way at the end of the driveway again. And remember, I was in line for 20 minutes. I call them. I'm like, hey, you guys screwed up my order. I just sat in line for 20 for like a half hour in the drive through. Can you please fix it? I'll pull up to the door. So I did. It took them like 10 minutes and they finally fixed our food. Maddox wouldn't eat his cheese roll-ups because it had literally, I'm not even shitting you, two little shreds of lettuce. Two little shreds of lettuce. Which were probably, they were like right on the edge. And he's, no, I don't eat vegetables. So he didn't eat lunch. I was like, fine, starve then because I paid for this and you're not going to eat it, whatever. Don't care. Also, I discovered that Carter had been I've been constantly having this problem with him and this pill that he takes. It's a really big pill. I found about a week's worth of pills behind the fridge. So he always finds a new hiding spot. So he got in trouble for that. Better Days came and picked him up and he had to go to programming. <sighs> today has been more of a chill day. There hasn't really been anything that has happened today aside from my audio getting corrupted again. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go hang out now and try to find something to watch on YouTube until it's time to get ready for bed, I guess. So hopefully the rest of the week keeps flying by. But that's it for me. I'll see you guys later. The facts, the facts, the facts of my life. Woo! Yeah! Um, just decided I would include that little jingle because... I needed to do something. Um, okay, let's get into this. So I'm starting on Monday. Rush Center to be COVID-19 Community Testing Center. That's what they said. That's the only thing that I saw about it. I didn't see anything else about this. So I'm not really sure. Okay. Dog the Bounty Hunter is engaged 10 months after his wife's death. It's a miracle. If you want to see what the chick looks like, you can't see. I'm sorry, but she looks a lot like Beth with like a sunken in face. Like same hair, but she doesn't have any eye makeup on. I'm a little bit confused by this because I saw something like months ago saying that he committed suicide. The dog did. So I'm like... Obviously, that wasn't true because of this, but I mean, to move on that fast. And it says he's calling her the last Mrs. Chapman. I, I could never move on that fast. I, I just. Anyway, so this is going to be one of our two weenies of the week because one is a beauty influencer. The other one is this, just this random noob. Okay, so his name is Robert Scott. He was arrested Saturday for driving a vehicle through the home 
on Macaw and Dan's. He's been formally charged by the court. First degree, recklessly endangering safety felony, three counts. Second degree, recklessly endangering felony endangering safety felony bail jumping felony two counts while the reported vehicle was stolen he has not been charged with possession of a stolen vehicle or theft okay so here's a picture of what the guy looks like and i'm not sure if you can tell but he looks like really stoned in this picture it could be from him smashing into the side of a house now i didn't screenshot this because i didn't think this would blow up into like a big story but i did see the picture and it was a brick home and he drove it wasn't like he drove through a garage he drove through like a brick wall and the car which was an suv was halfway in the house so you can just imagine like how hard of an impact that was so that's going to be one of our weenies of the week i will talk about our other weenie of the week at the end um Murder Hornets, I've already mentioned this. You guys saw my freak out. And the UFO stuff. Cinco de Mayo falls on a Taco Tuesday in the middle of a pandemic named after a Mexican beer. Had to include this because it's just the irony of it all, right? Like you can't even party because it's like a pandemic. Okay, that's a video for Carter's teacher. Um... So I'm just going to read through this and then I will give you my thoughts on it. The Hong Kong flu H3N2 of 1968 killed 1 million worldwide and 100,000 in the U.S. Most excess, I think it's supposed to be excessive deaths, being people 65 or older via the CDC. Nothing changed economically, nothing closed, no social distancing, no masks. No one was considered selfish then. And then below it, it says Woodstock occurred in the middle of a pandemic. That, I don't know if it's true because I didn't fact check it. <coughs> um, but I never heard of anything bad coming out of Woodstock as for a virus being spread. Now, things have changed with science and things like that that are a lot more sophisticated these days. So... According to this, it's saying that nothing happened, but do we know that? Because people could have died from this Hong Kong flu and not known that's what they died from because they just thought it was a flu. That's just my thoughts on it. This is from Mind Blowing Facts, and everything I have seen on their page has been true. So I'm going to believe this, but this is just, just, just to kind of like, just, just, just. I... Every time I have pizza, I cannot talk. Okay. I just wanted to include this just to kind of like include something nice. Because a lot of the things that I'm, information I'm giving you guys, it, it's all bad. You know, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Like all this bad stuff is happening. So I wanted to just give you guys something good. So this says six Georgia inmates out on work detail saved a deputy sheriff who collapsed unconscious. They could have taken his gun and fled with the work van, but used the deputy's phone to call 911. The sheriff's office gave the men a pizza party with a homemade dessert and recommended reduced sentences. I just thought that was really nice. So on Wednesday, five more COVID-19 patients die in Brown County, bringing our total for the county to 11. That's actually a lot lower than I thought it was going to be. Also, Wednesday, Island Resort and Casino in Harris, Michigan will reopen in phases starting Wednesday after it was closed on March 21 due to COVID-19. Phases are as follows. Slot 4, bingo, and food and beverage on May 6th. Golf courses May 8th. Hotel May 13th. Spa Convention Center. Table games. And the showroom to be determined at a later date. Okay, so here's something more about testing sites. The second community testing site is to open at 314 South Madison Street, parking lot of YMCA next to Casa Alba. Please book an appointment at stayhealthybc.com. You may see some squad cars there. They only there for traffic control. 
And then it's talking about how these are all one-way streets, so just make sure you're going the right way down the road. <clears throat> um, okay. So this was something I didn't actually touch on, but I'm going to read this and then I'll touch on it. Death virus, murder, hornets, and aliens weren't enough. Wisco, release the teenage drivers. So in case you are not aware right now, they are waiving wow. the driving test for youngsters out there to get their license. <clears throat> um, I do not find this funny. I do not find this okay. I understand the DMV wants to take precautions, but why wouldn't you just push back all of their testing until after this is done? Like, why are we doing this? So we're pretty much going to have a bunch of teenagers like on the road and on the highway that don't know what they're doing. And I'm not comfortable with that, honestly. I don't think anybody is. Okay, this is still Wednesday. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, Green Bay Municipal Court will be closed from 5 4 to 5 25. All initial court appearance to be rescheduled. Please call 920-448-3131 to reschedule your court date to pay your fine. It tells you how to do that. Um, and there's a code you have to use. This is for Oktoberfest. I'm not going to read through this whole thing, but let me see. Where does he say in here? I'm going to pause the video. Let me find out what I'm trying to see. Okay, so pretty much what it's saying is for Oktoberfest and license to cruise for Appleton. They're not going to be held in their usual manner of like a big festival. They're going to try to do it in a safer social distancing way. I'm guessing it's probably going to be like a parade or if there are beer tents and things for Oktoberfest that they're going to have like markers set out for like where you can go and where you can't and how much space you need in between each person or whatever. Um, this is a conspiracy that I'm going to tell you guys about. But I haven't delved into it yet. I probably will later tonight. I'm sorry. I haven't been doing my homework on this stuff this week. It's been a real crazy week for us. And I'll talk. I'm you guys. I record this part before I record the blog for the the vlog for the day. So just my mind is a mess. Anyway, back to the conspiracy. <clears throat> Researcher on the verge of making so different significant COVID-19 finding dead. Um, so one of my Facebook friends posted this and when he shared it, this is what he said. He was on the verge and killed people. You need to think hard damn government is behind this. So that is something that I want to look up. It's from NBC 26. So is there some credibility to it? There could be, but we've also seen people on the news that have been canoeing down the street and claiming that the whole city is underwater while people are walking past them in boots. So, I mean, like I said, I need to look into it. Don't believe everything you read. Kentucky woman cuts a hole in masks so that it's easier to breathe. So she's got the hole cut like right here, like a strip. <sighs> okay, for one thing, if you're a nurse and you go to school, you go through so much schooling for anatomy and physiology, for all kinds of things. You go through healthcare law, all sorts of things. You have to learn so much about the body and the way the body works, including the respiratory system, including viruses and things like this and how they affect your body. So, do I think this is real? No, I don't. I think it's put on here for the shock value, and I think it's somebody that just wants attention. That's all that I think it is. And when you're at home by yourself, what else can you do? Beg for attention. Okay, so this is for Hodag. So, a lot of people around here, they do travel and go to Hodag. It's a big thing. It's kind of like... Uh, I've never been, so I don't really know if it's like Country USA, but that's kind of the vibes I'm getting from it. Like a mini Coachella, but like more drinking than anything. And in Wisconsin, that's huge. So 
what I'm ge that's what I'm gathering from this. So it says, Happy Hodeg. We are still hoping to have the 43rd annual Hod Hod Blah. Ah! Hodeg Country Festival and have been continuing to get everything ready. At this time, all of our entertainers are still... Okay, anyway. Um, we will certainly follow the mandates that are issued by federal, state, or local government relative to COVID-19 in the event our festival is canceled or postponed. Refund and 2021 rollover options will be provided. So they're going to do their best to make sure everything is safe as it can be. If they can't do it, you guys will be getting a refund. This I also need to check out because I'm very excited about it. So this is from yesterday, Thursday. The Real Life Conjuring House will be live streamed for one week. Now, am I going to watch the live stream? No. But I'm going to look it up and people who have watched the live stream are going to cut that down and get up to all the good stuff and put that in a video. And that's the video I'm going to watch. You might have to pay for that though. That's one hell. Maybe. Okay, so you guys saw the snow. You know, I had a feeling once I read this, I made sure to get extra milk because I didn't want to be driving in slippery conditions with people that have forgotten how to drive in the snow. So 12 plus inches of snow expected in Maine this weekend, Wisconsin to see freezing temps. In Madison, my cousin posted a video where it had snowed there actually quite a bit. So is the snow coming this way? I don't know. I don't watch the news. But it could be. So with that being said, you know, you got to be prepared for that. Never put away your snow pants or your shovel until like August. And then you know what? In two months, you have to get it back out again. It's just a Wisconsin thing. Everybody knows this. You turn your air conditioning on during the day. You turn your heat on in the night. It's just something we go through in Wisconsin. That's my video of the snow. Island and resort and casino reopening in phases starting this week. I already talked about that. Okay, now do I, this, this one I do think is true. The person who serves Trump's his meals tests positive for the coronavirus. Now, in case you haven't been watching the news, Trump has not been doing any news conferences. Do I think Trump has COVID-19 yeah. right now? Yes. I think that's why he's not doing it. People are trying to speculate on this, all kinds of drama channels, all kinds of politics channels, on why he's not doing any of this. And a lot of people are saying that he's had enough of the reporters, so he kind of snapped off on one. And, well, actually a couple. But people are saying they're having somebody speak for him because it's just too much for him. I think that he is sick. And he probably is, you know doing what everybody else who has corona does except for going to the hospital because he probably has a whole like doctor and nurse staff at the white house right now that's what i think i could have swore i had more but that's all that i have so let's talk about our weenie, second weenie of the week so if you guys don't know i do watch beauty um influencers i also watch drama channels that are based off of those influencers so that's how I get my main form of entertainment is I watch other people do their makeup and I also watch a lot of Minecraft gaming. But this one beauty influencer, I got this from a drama channel, so I, I don't watch this girl, but her name is Beyonce Does Makeup. Or Beyonce Likes, Bianca Likes Makeup. That's who she is. So she was doing an Instagram live where she was putting a look together for everybody and she was talking with her followers and they were talking about um ingenious people and um they were talking about the native community and reservations and what i gathered from the clip that i saw was that she said she wouldn't want to go to a reservation because she's worried she would be killed okay he, you know i can't speak on this too much because i'm not really educated on all the crimes and happenings that go on there because I don't live there. Um, but I do know that these reservations have their own communities and things. They have their own police staff. They have their own schools. They have their own, you, they have their own stuff. It's, it's, you know, they're self-sufficient, whatever. 
and everybody knows that they get money from the casinos, right? But for this girl to come out and say this stuff, it's like, unless you are living there and you know what it's like, you shouldn't speak on somebody else's situation when something bad could have happened to somebody, maybe even one of the people that is following you, and now you're going to piss them off and they're going to go off on a rant and you're going to get canceled on social media. So I just found that like really ridiculous. Like, why would you put your foot in your mouth like that and say that on camera? And then after her live stream was done, she posted a picture flipping the camera off. So she did eventually get on an Instagram live with um, a Native American woman who wanted to educate her on what was going on. And she did publicly apologize for everything that she had said, but it still, it doesn't take it back. You still did it. Like you, you can't erase that. It's already been done. So <clears throat> whatever. What a weenie. Anyway, that's it for this week, guys. So if you liked it, leave it a like. If you're new, please subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.